The Sidewinder might be one of the worst weapons in the game, but these two aftermarket parts actually might make it viable. And these two aftermarket parts are the Jack Thunder LMG conversion kit, turning this battle rifle into an LMG, and the Jack BFB muzzle that reduces recoil by an insane amount. And on top of turning this into an LMG, it actually increases the fire rate the longer you shoot. So let's test it out here on these tier one zombies. As you can see, it starts out slow, but the longer I hold down on the trigger, the faster it goes. And you can probably guess the faster it shoots, the more recoil it's gonna have. But this muzzle actually helps us control the recoil a lot more, especially here on keyboard and mouse. I just need to pull my mouse down slightly and I can keep everything going in a straight line. But we'll be testing this against all three tiers of zombies, Omega Abomination and even the Stormcaller. But as you guys just saw, it took out those tier one zombies pretty easily. So let's go find some tier twos. Oh, and one thing I forgot, I don't have Zerk on scale in my battle rifle, so we can unlock that as well today. All right, here's a tier two zombie. Let's see what this is doing to him. Oh, it took him out kind of decently fast, but uh, only could take out one. Well, like one in... 1.9 zombies. What about a, a light armored? It does pretty decently after the armor is actually broken. And let's see how this does against a tier 3 zombie from the safety of this island. Oh, hold on. I missed like 90% of those shots. Let's try that again. Stay still. There we go. Yeah, not doing the craziest amount. But this is all unupgraded unpack a punch just to get a little baseline on its damage. Let's go ahead and pack a punch it and upgrade it and add on all of our perks. Now, how's this doing against some tier two zombies? Holy, that was like a two tap kill. A better two tap kill. I'm using like one of my last legendary aether tools on this. Better be putting work in. But before we go and test this out on some bosses, I want to try this against the HVT real quick. We'll treat this as a little warm up. All right, where you at, Mimic? Why don't you come on outside? You all right in there? Oh, now he sees me. Come here. Come on. Yeah, go ahead. Try to shoot me with that little spit bubble thing, whatever the fuck you do. Immediately slap them. Eh, let's, let's throw on some brain rot for right now. I would prefer some napalm burst, but brain rot works. That killed him pretty effortlessly, but I want to do one more just for fun. Let's see what we get. Give me mangler. Oh, disciple. All right, what's up, dude? Let's see what this is doing to you. Absolutely shredding you is what it's doing. This is easy. All right, let's go get this a real challenge now. We're coming, Mega Abomination. Actually, the Stormcaller is right here. We always do the Mega Abomination first. Stormcaller, it's your lucky day. You get to get dick down nice and early this time. No health sapping. None of that. So far, it's not doing the craziest against him, but maybe that's because he has his mask on. We just now broke it, so no more armor for him. What's it doing now? Let's stop him from taking our health. Ah! Uh, I don't know how much I'm liking it. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of shredding through these zombies though. It is only tier two, slightly buffed zombies from this disciple, but normally in the storm, I have to leave it to be able to do damage to him. I think the worst part about this gun so far is only having 100 rounds in the mag. 100 rounds isn't bad, but when you've been using like some LMGs that start with 200 and you can get them all the way up to four, 100 seems like nothing especially with how fast this gun shoots once it gets going. Well, let's get it going again. We got him down to half health. Broke his mask again. Or like broke his posture, whatever that means. Down to a quarter of it. One more mag should do it. See a storm caller. Thanks for playing. I'll be taking your skull. What else do you drop? A mortar strike? That's it? You gotta drop some better stuff for me, Stormcaller. That's not cutting it. But I feel like I haven't highlighted this muzzle enough yet. It literally reduces recoil by like 60% in one of the categories. And the only downside to it is that enemies in multiplayer basically see you like you would at on like an advanced UAV. But that has no effect in zombies. What, the, the zombies need a UAV? They already know where you are. There's like no reason to not use this on any weapon that has any sort of recoil to it. And I'm pretty sure it's compatible with like almost every single weapon in the game too. There's the guy we're looking for. What's up, dude? Let's have a chat, you and I. Yeah, go ahead and yell. Why don't you open your mouth up for me? Oh, we already broke his face and he didn't even have to open it. Okay. Already a quarter of his health gone or a third or... No, I think it's a quarter. Maybe slightly less. Well, that was still a good amount right off the bat. One mag. That ain't bad. Let's get to it again. Got him to like almost half. Oh yeah, shoot that laser, buddy. 
There goes another face. Holy shit! He's already almost dead. But he's right on my ass. I see a shadow chasing me. Stay the fuck back. You need to slow your roll, buddy. Yeah, there you go. He's already dead. See you later, dude. This thing shreds. This is disgusting. This really makes up for that double barrel SMG. Because I thought that thing was going to be good. This is what that gun wishes it was. And what'd you drop for me? Just essence? That's it? Couldn't give me anything better? Lame. Let's just clear out some bounties. This thing's already shredding. Let's see how much it can do. Oh, an HVT Disciple. These things are super tanky. Actually, let's test its mobility out. Because we already seen it can shred through just about anything. But can we run away from just about anything? So far, it seems like I'm I'm out spreading zombies, which ain't bad. Let me put my build on screen for this gun, too, if you guys want to copy this. I basically outrun anything but a Hellhound, which is basically any weapon. Or at least any of the, the faster weapons, I should say. Let's throw a decoy, because I have a whole horde of zombies on me that I do not want. What are we doing against this guy? It's like the Stormcaller Light. There we go. Actually, is this stronger than the Stormcaller? I wonder which one has more health. I feel like the Stormcaller would, right? Either way, he's dying just the same. Imagine this with Ring of Fire. If they ever add Ring of Fire in this game in a later update, using this weapon with it, I can't imagine how fast it would shoot. The damage this thing would deal, dude. I really hope they add Ring of Fire eventually. I miss it. These zombies are being dicks. I can't do any damage to this guy. They're just harassing me. Oh, and there's a mega abomination. What's up, pal? How's it going? You want to get dealt with? We can deal with you. I can fuck both you guys up. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. No, I can't. At least not right now. Give me a second. Let me catch my breath. Oh, and he just disappeared. Idiot. That's what you get. But we got our disciple to half health for now until he takes it all back. Oh, wait. Down to a quarter. This should be it right here. Stop him from taking it. Oh no, of course. Every time I gotta reload, he does it. Stop. Oh, this is gonna be a constant battle. Actually, that was clutch. Broke his posture at the right moment. Later, bitch. Damn. That was definitely tougher than the, the Stormcaller. This is based on no data, but my gameplay. The HVT Disciples are definitely stronger than Stormcallers. It's been scientifically proven. Let's go do another bounty. Let's see if we can't get a HVT Mega Bomb. After the last update, I know it broke a lot of shit, which is really annoying. But uh, I'm seeing way, way less Hellhounds in Tier 3. That is such a welcome improvement. And I also saw a chest over here, but I have no decoys. So I'm going to grab some and I'm going to loot that. Because I'm a greedy little bastard. But like, look at this. All these zombies chasing me. One Super Sprinter, maybe? And no Hellhounds. That's such a great quality of life upgrade. Because Hellhounds almost felt like the Denizens. To, to tier three. Every few seconds, you got to turn around and shoot one. Otherwise, you're just going to get constantly hounded. No pun intended. Actually, you know what? I'll use this monkey bomb. So apparently these were buffed too. Oh, we got a jug in here. I'll take that. Why not? But apparently monkey bombs now last longer and decoys were also buffed. Decoys were put back to their original eight seconds instead of the, the six that they were nerfed down to. So that was basically them confirming that decoys were nerfed so people would use monkey bombs more. But all they gotta do if they want people to use monkey bombs more is speed up the time it takes to throw them. Like to wind them up and throw. That's it. Because I feel like I find monkey bombs everywhere on the map, but I never really use them. Because decoys are just so much easier to get. And they go out way faster. Anyways, this is a new spot for a, a bounty. Let's grab it and see if we get something good. Oh, it is a mega abomination. Let's go. What's going on, mega bomb? Oh, there's two of you. Let's throw a quick decoy. Yeah, shoot your laser. This will make it easier for me. There's one head already. Uh, why don't you come on down here? Come, come into my office. Why don't you take a step into here? Where I can get some decoys. Damn, we are shredding the fuck out of this guy. Oh, shit. Oh, and there's all the hellhounds. They're all waiting in the same spot. Yeah, yell. Dumbass. There goes another head. See ya. Oh, we had a laser? You're asleep, dude. You're done. Oh, I'm done. Damn, that would have been sick. 
Oh, got him. You try to fucking laser me from across the map. That's not happening. Oh, do I got to take out your buddy too? Why don't you sit down? Oh, no ammo, no ammo, no ammo, no ammo, no ammo. Fuck. I think this is my last self revive too. Shit. Okay, we're, we're getting a little too cocky. Let's throw a cashmere and act like none of this ever happened. We got to get our reward from this. It's got to be a self revive, right? Wow, jug. All right, I got to leave this area before I'm cooked. But so far, review of this weapon, I, it's way better than the Sidewinder would be. And it's absolutely been shredding bosses. Also, really cool concept. Not only turning it into an LMG, but increasing the fire rate the longer you shoot is sick. It's kind of like that, that Core 45 aftermarket part, but it's fully automatic. But the Core 45 is just the, the more you pull the trigger. I need to get my self-revive back, but I want to earn it. Let's do another bounty. What's up, Mangler? Let's see how fast it gets through your armor. Pretty damn fast. Not gonna lie. And you didn't even give me a self revive, dick. All right, where's the closest shop? I'm gonna have to buy one. And while we're in the area, let's go uh, check out the old legacy fortress. Because now there's only one fortress in the game. And this is a ghost town. We got this whole area here with nothing in it. Can you just straight up go in here now without the key? Yep. No longer booby trapped. I don't know why I don't just keep both. RIP legacy. You know what? Since we've already done everything else, let's go take on uh, the warlord. We'll go fuck him up. And we're going to try to do it for free. Oh, holy shit. I saw something like this on Twitter, but I, I thought that this was fixed already. The whole geometry of the map is fucked up. <laughs> what is this? Maybe this is why they didn't keep legacy. They don't want people over in this area. Oh, and there's a whole fucking Minecraft ravine. This is crazy, dude. How does this even happen? Is this teasing like an event in Morzone where like the whole earth is going to open up? Like Godzilla is going to come out of it or something? That'd be sweet. Kind of sucks that this whole building is just a fortress now. So I used to see everybody like putting their tombstones on top of this crane or just getting on the crane and flying off it to get another, to another part of the map. But now it's all walled off. But I saw a thing where people can jump right onto there from another building without getting the legacy key card. I want to see if I can do it. I'll take this rope up. Uh, I don't think this is high enough. Actually, wait can i take this zip line yeah what okay and then i should be able to just jump right here and we're in easy i don't think this is the greatest weapon to use against mercs though like it kills them but it takes a few shots these shield guys over here are the fucking worst i can't ever get the shot on them is there a nade in this oh there is idiots eat it is the warlord over here? Do we still get the fighter? All the drones are here. I'm not seeing her. Oh yeah, she's right over here. You're gonna take cover right here. I'm gonna wall bang you. That was easy damage. Oh, now she's fucking flying away. Damn, these mercenaries are fucking me up. You know what? I'm bringing in a jug. See how you guys like this. Where is it? I just got scammed. I didn't get my jug. Where'd it land? Oh, was it blocked off? That's dumb. You can light her up from right here, though. Oh, until she fucking flies away. Yet again. You know what? Here are your dumb asses go. Here's a monkey bomb. I wonder if that'll actually kill any of them. Oh, I got him. I got at least two of them, I think. Idiots. I am down to my last self revive, though. Now I'm getting bombarded by these bomb drones. I still don't think I've made a dent in her health. And the storm's about to come in. There's just way too many mercenaries. I got her to half health, though. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. This has been the longest fight of my life. This is definitely not the weapon I bring in to try to solo this warlord. Oh, but she's so close to dying. Stay in that spot. Go back. It's like a new helicopter shows up to drop off troops every two seconds. I'm way too committed to stop this now. I'll let the storm kill us all. I don't give a shit. I'll go down with the ship. I want to see the amount of mercenaries I've killed this game. Okay, that's a fucking lot. Oh, the storm is almost here. Fuck it. We're just going for it. She's dead. She's gone. Did I get any of the rewards for it? Oh, the rewards did show up. Um, No. Okay, well, that's fine. We still had our self revive. Just one. Those rewards are ass. I'm out of here. Holy fuck. I don't even know how long that took. That felt like an hour. I don't even think I got Zircon skill yet this game. We're gonna have to grind this out at Final X fell, I guess. But I feel like there's no way I don't have 300 kills with this weapon. I actually might have more mercenary kills than zombie kills now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, is that Zircon scale? 
Yes, it is. I can always tell when I get a fucking big packet burst. Let's go. Just on time. Uh, we can do a quick little weapon safe. We got time to kill until Final Expo gets here anyways. And we got a deadbolt turret here. Might as well use a circuit we picked up. That was sick. I don't even have to do anything. I might have to do something. Oh, wait, no. Took care of it for me. Oh, uh, what? Did I just get robbed? With the Final Expo thing popping up, did it just cancel my contract? That's so lame. It's still drilling. Either that or just took away the progress bar. I'm still going to sit here and wait. Because there's still contracts on the map. Come on. Finish up. I know you're not done. Oh, I knew it. I'm glad I waited. All right, now let's get the hell out of here. Oh, wait. Serpent tonight? How? Oh. I was thinking I had to get Zircon scale on all of my battle rifles to get Serpent tonight. But I just needed to get like, what, the 36 of them? Damn, that's a cam I didn't even know I could get in this game. So I guess we got Borealis. That was a buzzer beater too. That was with less than like, what, 10 seconds left in the entire game? And we made it out with basically every single perk. That was very productive. Well, I can say I was pleasantly surprised by this gun. It is way, way better than I thought it was gonna be because the Sidewinder already not good, but throwing this on here, it's it's a lot of fun. It definitely has its downsides as you guys can see against those mercenaries, but overall pretty decent weapon it definitely just melts through any bosses you know maybe besides that disciple but mega abominations absolutely teared through zombies ain't a problem really and it's just kind of fun but i'm gonna go ahead and end it there thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you guys in the next one later